boy, must have been some heist at Corporate HQ, huh, Alias? I hear they got major company secrets. Crime of the decade. Some big-time mastermind, I'll bet. Yeah, big deal. Because we won't get any closer to it than the evening news. So, Alias, uh, are you coming over for dinner tomorrow? Eh, why don't you and the league should come to my place for a change? Oh. I'd hate to think I had it fumigated for nothing. Well, if we can get a sitter... Great. I'll order Rizorian takeout. Oh, boy. Now I just have to find my couch. Hmm, might be under the... Uh, oh, Greb, what now? Come on, we better investigate. But I haven't finished my donut. She could be bleeding to death. But it's a cream-filled donut. Max. All right, all right. Boy, oh, boy, you can't get a break around. <laughs> I was pursuing the thieves who broke into HQ. <coughs> I shot one, but the other one got away. <laughs> but not before I heard them agree to meet at the Thirsty Tentacle. <coughs> it's a dive in back of the spaceport. <coughs> Here's a data cart I found on the dead one. It's only half the plans. The other thief must have a second data cart. <coughs> Remember the thirsty tentacle. We gotta call this in to Sergeant Wabaksha. This is alias Node in car 523 reporting a code 329. This is no time for jokes, Node. I'm up to my fifth tentacle segment in work, thanks to that break-in at HQ. No jokes, Sarge. We ran into an officer working on the heist. Badge number... Uh, 8849, alias. 8849. She's dead now, but she tipped us off to the plans of the thief. He's at the Thirsty Tentacle. Hmm. He must be planning on taking the 2250 shuttle to Carcass 4. That'd put him out of our jurisdiction. Yeah, roger that, Sarge. Hey, we're just a couple of blocks from there. Uh, request permission to pursue. Greb, there's no way I can get anyone else there in time, so I'm stuck with you. Max, try to keep your human pal from embarrassing the department. If you guys screw this up, I'll have you cleaning the precinct restrooms for the rest of your careers. Now move! By the way, since you guys can't remember your own names most of the time, I'd better remind you of the importance of the Armpit Sector Individual Liberties Manifesto. If you so much as wave an appendage cuff at someone without conclusive evidence, your butts will be in jail and I will personally swallow the key. Now go! Yeah? Your badge. Yep. Got it right here. Uh, let me just say one word. What's that? Undercover. Under... Oh! Oh! <laughs> right! <laughs> I had my badge on.
Hey, you know, Alias? With our residue printers, we'll catch the thief in no time. Max, stole that. You'll give us away. Alias, I'm sure this crabhead is too dumb to recognize a residue printer. This isn't some two-bit street punk we're talking about. This is someone who broke into the vaults at Corporate HQ. Oh. The toughest security the company has anywhere. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I guess I'm just not used to this high-powered undercover stuff. Okay, I'm going in. Alias, you wait here a minute, and then follow. There's no warning label, so the panel's probably safe to open. Then again, knowing some of the corrupt hacks who work in the Bureau of Health and Safety, I wouldn't bet the mortgage money on it. I've been carrying this voice printer around for years and never had to use it until now. I was issued this residue printing wand back at the training academy, but it's not very useful for exit gate to... The info on these monitors can usually be trusted. Node, don't forget to use your empathy telepathy training. It will be invaluable in locating the suspect. No problem, boss. Well, no problem as long as there aren't any aliens. I hate doing the aliens. Hi, my name's Alias Node. How are you? I am well. My swarm name is Soldier 714Z367, but many of the patrons refer to me as Soldier 714 for short. With all those appendages, it seems like Zazzles would be natural-born bartenders. I'm surprised you don't see more of them doing it. You don't see a lot of Zazzles on Armpit 6. How'd you come to live here? It's a long story. I'm not sure you have the time to hear. I'll take a rain check on the story, but tell me, have you seen anything strange around here today? Or seen anyone acting kind of odd? Other than you asking many questions, no. I got lots of time and lots of curiosity. Let's hear your story. 
I once lived the routine life of a soldier in the service of the greatest of Zazzle queens, the revered Zunes. Ours was the finest swarm on Pizzazz. I was in charge of guarding Her Majesty's tapestries, a position of great importance and responsibility. Tell me about this queen. What's her name? Zunes? She is a lustrous and wise ruler. Of course, she is of extremely advanced age and was beginning to get somewhat eccentric. Off her flippin' rocker, eh? No. She continues to be a pillar of wisdom for the swarm. She's just a few crumbs short of a full feast. I think I've heard enough. He seems a little defensive, doesn't he? Check. Got it miniaturized and stored. That's the most excitement I've had in months. A squatch. This must be the Neblet's restroom. As the joke goes, Neblet's bathrooms really suck. Essence of pond scum and a certain piquant quality I can't identify. Have you noticed that your message light's been blinking? Say, Alias, have you considered using the voice printer or the residue printer? We might as well at least pretend we know what we're doing. I'm receiving a carrier signal from the voice printer. Processor-wise, the voice printer is a low-level moron. But still, it's nice to hear from it after all these years. I'll be sure and let you know if it tells me anything interesting. Hi, my name's Alias Node. How are you? What? Oh, yes. I had forgotten that you bipeds often exchange such pleasantries before experiencing the usual three weeks of small talk. My name is Sluggo. I think we can safely assume he's innocent. 
It'd take him the better part of a day to get out of the bar. Ow! Boy, you've got one hard shell. Ow! Something kicked me. Has anybody ever told you that you look just like Jerry Lewis? I shrug, except I don't have any shoulders. No, I'm not in the plant. I am the plant. I guess that plant is currently occupied by the disembodied intelligence who calls himself Gus. Well, it's a big galaxy. Anything is possible. Can't help you there, pal. <laughs> I hardly ever hang on a host long enough to learn much. Ooh, I'd love to help you out, pal. But this host isn't particularly agile. Know what I mean? Ask me again when I'm in a real host. Ta-ta! Would you like to be a host for a few hours? On um, second thought, never mind. I was in a human once. Ooh, ooh. Most tedious five hours I ever spent. Everyone was constantly coming up to him and telling him he looked just like Jerry Lewis. Mm, that's even heavier than a Lux. Those cowboys must have been some pretty strong dudes. So that's what a tiger looks like, huh? Sometimes I think I ought to learn more about my Earth heritage. This cardboard cutout hides me pretty well. You're not going to learn much from hiding in a deserted room, boss. Good point. 
Oh, that feels better. I'm starting to get a leg cramp from standing so still.